This video's featured creature is a member of the genus Impidonax, or Impidonax, whichever way you choose to pronounce it, a group of flycatcher species that are very similar in appearance to each other. Identifying these birds in the field can be a big headache for birders, so much so that the frustration of impid identification is often joked about in birding circles, and especially through memes on social media. These small, drab, wing-barred flycatchers are notoriously difficult to identify. Subtle differences in appearance and structure are helpful clues, but voice is the best way to distinguish them. During migration, however, birds are often not calling and observers are frequently perplexed by them. Over the many years that I have been birding, I have become decent at distinguishing between the species, but I am far from being an expert. To this day, I occasionally have trouble. With the Acadian flycatcher, the song is a forceful teach-up or kerchip which it seems frequently throughout the breeding season. To me, it sounds like someone stepping on a dog's squeaky toy. Here, listen for yourself. The singing is most common in the morning and diminishes throughout the day. This bird is from the tyrant flycatcher family, which includes scissor tail flycatchers and eastern and western kingbirds. At five and a half to six inches in length, Acadian flycatchers are one of the largest members of the Impedinax group. They are olive above and whitish below, tinged with yellow. They have two white wing bars on each side. Their foreheads are somewhat flat and slope gently to form a peaked look. Acadian flycatchers have relatively long wings and narrow white eye rings. The Eastern Phoebe, which, while not an impid, is closely related to the Acadian flycatcher, but is browner overall, has an all-black beak, and has very faint wing bars. The Acadian flycatcher inhabits most of the eastern half of the United States. They winter in Central America and the extreme northwest portion of South America. These birds inhabit deciduous forests, especially near creeks, rivers, large ponds, lakes, ravines, and swampy woods. The National Audubon Society reports that the Acadian flycatcher breeds mostly in wet, deciduous forests, such as swamps or dense riverside woods, and also in the understory of drier woods. These birds eat mostly insects and often perch about midway between the ground and treetops. Acadian flycatchers pick insect larvae from the undersides of leaves during short sally flights out and back from exposed perches. They also hawk insects from the air. The National Audubon Society reports that Acadian flycatchers eat a wide variety of insects, including wasps, bees, flies, ants, caterpillars, beetles, moths, shrewbugs, and others. They also eat some spiders, millipedes, and some small fruits and berries. Nests are built in trees and shrubs, usually between 10 and 30 feet off the ground. The female lays two to three eggs, which are incubated for about two weeks. Young fledge between 12 and 18 days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click on the like icon and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.